Hello everyone. I hope you are enjoying the DSA 30 days challenge. Right. So this is the last challenge I given. Challenge number 70. Yeah, I explained the problem also. Right. You can see the problem once again. So we have to find out number of number of islands. Right. Number of islands. What is the island definition also I explained. An island is surrounded by water and is formed by connecting adjacent uh, lands horizontally or vertically. You may assume all four edges of the grid are all are surrounded by water. Right. Next one. Next one. What is the meaning of land here? What is the meaning of water here? Remember in a matrix one means land, zero means water. An island is surrounded by water and is formed by right, connecting adjacent lands together, right, horizontally or vertically. So I, I have so many examples, I can give that also. So I think if you see, if you see the first example, see the first example, I think this is one row. This is one more row. This is one more row. This is one more row. If you write the properly, you will get the clarity. So triple one. Triple one, right? Let me see some one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think uh, five columns. Triple one, one, zero. Right? Triple one, one, zero. If you want, I will write the uh, matrix format. Next, next, double one, zero, one, zero. Next, next is going to be triple, right? Double one, triple zero. Next, I think five zeros. So this is the matrix given. You have to find out number of islands. Let's check all adjacent ones. Remember adjacent, horizontal or vertically, whatever it is. So I think this is one island. Let me know if I am wrong. Please let me know. So output is one. Number of islands you have to return. See, they all are adjacent. They all are adjacent. Yeah, fine. So in the similar way, second example also you can see. Similarly, second example also you can see. Let's see this one. How many rows? One, two, three, four. Four rows are there. How many columns? I think five columns. So I will try to adjust here. I will try to adjust here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 rows. Columns are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? So let me write one by one. Let me write one by one. First one, double one, triple zero. Double one, triple zero. Next one is double one, triple zero. Next one also double one, triple zero. Okay? Third one is double zero. 1 double 0. So last one if you observe, last one if you observe, last one if you observe, triple 0, triple 0, double 1. Triple 0, double 1. Yeah, you can find out how many islands are there. Can you find out? I think uh, this is one. Adjacent people, all adjacent people you have to take, all adjacent people try to remember. Try to remember all adjacent people. This is let me check. Let me check once. So this is one. This is one. So this is one. Check. If anyone having any doubt, three. Fine. So I think three islands. That's fine. Let's go to bigger picture. Let's go to bigger picture. You will get more clarity in this. You will get more clarity. This is one. 
this is one right this is one this is the one more one this is one more one this is the one more one remember these are not adjacent these are not adjacent remember these are not adjacent remember right these are not adjacent remember right you cannot say two diagonal taking they are adjacent you cannot say this so like this i think how many can you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 islands six islands are there right be careful six islands i hope everyone everyone is fine now right let me go here i think the answer for this one is i think if you observe clearly if you consider it as a graph if you consider it as a graph the answer for this one is you can apply bft or dft it is something like problem looks so scary problem looks so scary but actually it is the bft dft finding number of connected components it is one connected component it's one more connected components finding number of connected components right but in the in the case of the graph if two people are adjacent you will take it but here here right so two people are surrounded something like uh, all one surrounding ones you will take they they are surrounding right surrounding vertices adjacent vertices you will take but here uh, right surrounding ones you will take that is the only difference simply the answer for this problem is right apply bft dft so i am writing here i am writing here this problem is similar to this problem is similar to finding number of connected components connected components in the given graph in the given graph and one more to find out the finding number of connected components for this purpose you can use bft also breadth first to traverse dft also you can use any one whatever you feel you can use right in the graph two people are adjacent maybe adjacent symmetric adjacent list they will give right but here in some other way one matrix is given right so adjacent people are ones adjacent people are ones group them if adjacent people are zero don't group them right that's what it is going on here different way of saying it's one of the well known graph problem connecting right finding number of connected components right so i written some small code also see this one one matrix i took i called right count islands i called count islands right so when you call the function count islands by sending the matrix so what that particular one will do is every row every column it will scan every row every column it will scan right so whenever it is scanning i is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 when it is scanning first it will check first it will check if it is visited or not if not visited if not visited then it will call dft algorithm dfs algorithm it will call right dfs algorithm it, it is a dfs algorithm it will call this whenever a dfs algorithm is going on first it has to check it has to check is it neighbor or not adjacent or not it will check first it will verify is it adjacent or not if it is adjacent if it is adjacent and one more thing is marked as right if it is adjacent and one more thing it is not covered if it is not covered adjacent and it is not covered adjacent also and it is not covered see using this function using this is safe function i will calculate is it adjacent or not and one more thing is one more thing is i will check is it visited or not adjacent adjacent and not visited and once also if it is adjacent and one right then what i will do is i will call dfs algorithm for that simply dfs remember simply dfs right you have to check carefully all the acts adjacent or not so adjacent or not so these are the things which will take my surrounding people like this 
to me by adding this one i will get the adjacent field if at all i am adjacent and are not rigid call the dfs algorithm it will right so like this like this one is already there one is already there so next one should i take or not so adjacent or not will verify right and one more thing is it one or not verify one and adjacent called dfs right next one next one once again once again adjacent and one or not verify adjacent one or not verify adjacent one or not verify adjacent one or not verify like it is keep on going it is keep on going so you will group them right you will group them then you will count the number of connected components as plus one so every time you will keep on counting every time you will keep on counting when our sees one count is zero initially number of right number of uh, islands are going to be initially zero after everything after everything you will increment the count by one see you will increment the count by one lastly return count that count comes to here so it will be printed some rules and regulation right some rules and regulation first of all first of all verify first of all verify see this one whoever you want to try first of all verify is e one yes one and one more one more is he not rigid yes first of all whoever you want to go further you want to count it as a island first of all easy easy one or not yes and easy not rigid yes then call dfs in the dfs algorithm in the dfs algorithm it will check it will check all neighbors are what is it safe or not what neighbors and all if at all neighbors if you find out someone else someone else is not rigid again called dfs is keep on going keep on going like this until zeros will come right so then after completion of total story count plus plus right after completion of total story count plus plus right it's keep on going for every iteration every iteration is verified so because of one scanning is going on one scanning is going on right order of m and time time complex order of m and m rows and m columns m rows and n counts right that's it so space complex is order of m n same way once one table required for visiting purpose is he visited or not because of here m n people are there m n people are there visiting uh, visiting marker marker purpose order of m n order of m n simply those people who are not getting bfs dfs please understand bfs dfs it is exactly like counting number of connected components counting number of connected components 